All right, what are your guys' initial thoughts after the game? Um, I thought we played pretty well as a team. We stayed as a, we stayed as a group, and that was our team goal is just if we mess up on one play, put that in the pass and look on to the next play. Uh, my thoughts on the game. I thought we played really good for about 35 minutes. There, the last five minutes, we kind of lost focus on defense, and you know they they hit a couple threes on the stretch. But but luckily, we played good enough up to that point where you know we could still get out of there with a the win. We got we got a couple things we got to tighten up before before we come out and play Friday. But I thought overall we, we had a pretty good effort. Everybody was playing hard. We stayed together the whole time, and and you know it was a good effort overall. All right. It seemed like the refs started to call the game a lot closer in the second half. How that changed the way you guys had to play? Well, personally, I got called on two calls where I thought I did the same exact things in the first half. So I just kind of had to learn what I had to do on defense, such as hand checking or anything like that. I thought that the officials did change the game a little bit, but it's our job to adapt to what they're calling and change the way we play. All right, Briarcliff hit 11 threes. How challenging was it to guard that? We knew coming in that they were going to hit a lot of threes, or they were going to shoot a lot of threes, and, and we just wanted to limit them. You know, when they hit 13, 14, 15 threes, that's you know that's when they that's when they really succeed. That's when they win games. You know, they they play inside out. They have one guy who who really does a good job of getting in there and finding shooters, and they have a big guy who does a good job of posting up and finding shooters too. So we knew that we just had to stick to our man and and uh, really contest the shooters in the throughout the full game, and I thought we did a really good job of that for most of it. You know, for the couple spurts, couple lapses where, where we didn't get a hand up the shooters, but I thought even a lot of them that they hit were contested. All right, you guys play the winner of the Black Hills State Holy Names matchup that's going on right now. What do you guys have to improve on going into that game? Personally, I think I just need to improve on composure. I mean, down stretch, I turned the ball over twice, and, you know, I just need to be able to just hold on to the ball and just <clears throat> finish the game out. And that, that goes for the rest of our team. We just need to be able to close the game. We're up 13, 14 points with four minutes to go. So that's all we need to do is basically finish the game, play hard the whole 40 minutes, not 35, not 36, but the whole 40. And this is a tough situation you come in here. We don't, we don't really know anything about the teams that are out there playing right now. Um, we're gonna have to play them on Friday morning and uh, we're gonna have to get, go out there and get a scouting report right now. And, you know, do a light walk through tomorrow and, and, you know, see what we got to do to defend them. We just got to come with the same energy and intensity that we brought today. I thought we played really good today. And, you know, it's a little bit of a different game plan. The teams that are out there playing right now. They got a couple of good big guys and as many shooters. So we got to change our philosophy on defense a little bit. Work on staying in the gaps and, you know, digging on the post and, and stuff like that. So it's a little bit of a different game plan on Friday. But, you know, if you bring energy and intensity, everyone at this level, at, you know, around 16 is good. So. You know, it's, it comes down to who, who wants it more and, and who's going to stick to the game plan and execute better.